All right, so I saw this partial episode, Cliffy No Stiffy, and I knew I had to react to it. I haven't seen it all yet. To do nothing. And his excuse falls flat. You cannot have an erection. And it turns out I'm not the only one he's afraid of. I'm fucked, no. though. You're going to leave me. You know, all these guys are just, uh... All these guys are just not going to do anything at all. They just have this salacious uh, conversation with a minor. Sometimes they send pictures, which is doing something, of course, um, telling a minor what they want to do. Uh, they drive to the sing house. They get into the sing house. They're ready to uh, go. And then uh, suddenly Chris, uh, oh, I wasn't going to do anything. Like, what are we going to do? You weren't going to come over and, like, try to bang a 15-year-old? You're going to, what, just play board games and be a mentor to her? Like, I just want one guy to just kind of fess up and be like, yeah, I was going to bang the fuck out of her, you know, just... One guy, you know, just, uh, of course, we're never going to do that or, or see that, probably. I mean, the old other guy is still not Don't go slower there, everyone else. Be the voice for the voiceless and protect those who cannot protect themselves. That's the motto of the Genesee County Human Oppression Strike Team, or GHOST. Led by Sheriff Chris Swanson, GHOST is one of the most successful agencies in the country at apprehending potential child predators. My team and I are embedded in the latest investigation. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and the chatters are already getting action. One potential predator calls to talk to a decoy before heading over. How old are you? I'm a little bit younger. How old are you? Goodbye. That man did the smart thing, but making the worst decision of the day is 68-year-old Clifford. I get the details of the chat from Lieutenant Andy Snyder. Lieutenant, we think we have a 68-year-old guy coming for a 15-year-old girl. Right, for our for our record search, it said states he's 68 years old. 68 years old, and how far is he traveling? He said 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So that could be either Shiawassee County or Sacramento County. But someplace nearby. Right. And... You know, I love all these guys that are really close to the Sting House because being 15 minutes away, even driving past that area, it's like, oh... That's where I made, if they say in the area, it's like, oh, that's where I made the worst decision of my life, you know, and potentially this guy, I don't know if he has a record or something, I haven't seen this one, but, um, you know, especially if he didn't have a record, it's like, oh, I, you know, went this many years having no issues, and 68, and my dick fucks it up, uh, but, you know, they always get to, like, remember and drive past this water, like that golf cart Matt guy, I don't know, I gotta react to that one, but if, uh, um, I already investigated that one. I should have follow up on him anyway. The one that actually drove his golf cart to the uh, to the sting house. That was beautiful. Does he stick out in any way to you, or another guy who's trying to meet a child for sex? Just another guy who's trying to meet a child for sex. And the first guy likely in the door here during this sting operation. Hopefully, hopefully we can get up and arrest him and get another guy out the streets. And it appears clear from the chat that he knows. The girl he's coming to see is under age. Yes, it was indicated that she was 15 in the chat. And then we also stated that I'm younger. Don't want any drama. I want to be low key. And he's comfortable with that. Comfortable with that. He asked for the address and he said he'd be here in 15 minutes. We shall see. We shall see. Okay, pull it in. He's in the driveway. Clifford arrives, Fago pop in hand, and heads for the back door. Yeah, we need a lot more of Chris's narration right there because that sheriff and everything they were saying was just really quiet. It might be because I'm in a car, but, you know. The decoy meets him. We blurred her face to protect her identity. Hi, how are you? Good. Did you bring me out? Uh, somebody asked why they're blurring the faces so much of the decoys in this one, or, I don't know, they said they don't want to watch it with a blurred decoy face. But, I, as I understand it, these aren't, like, it's not Tetra Core or whatever the other one is, um, you know, the original To Catch a Predator one, so it's escaping me up for the moment, but it's not, uh, it's not that, it's, uh, or Perverted Justice, that's what it was, it's, it's not that, it's, uh, which, even so, I think they should have done blurs on the, on their faces, but, um, there's no reason to show a decoy, especially if the decoy is going to keep on decoying, and, um, you know, they're going to keep on, if their face is put out there, I mean, hopefully they're, uh, digitally altering the faces using, like, face app, make the face a little younger or something, or, you know, hopefully doing something, but when the guy gets there and they see the face, uh, 
you know, I just, um, I think, I think they all should be blurred out just to protect them. There's a lot you can do with facial recognition these days, even if someone is older. Nice, thank you. Rose, have you come in here? How was the drive? Good. Yeah? I just get worried about all the, all the bus going on. After a brief exchange, he changes his mind and heads back the way he came. But I'll be right back after run to the bathroom, okay? Okay, I'm good. But what he wasn't planning on was finding me. You know, at least they're not doing the cookies on the table or something. I mean, it looks like that's the end of it right there. But at least they're not doing, like, the cookies on the... I made you some brownies or that are, like, three days stale. Uh, but, uh, three days old. But I made you, uh, some cupcakes or whatever. And I got some, uh, fruit punch here or some, uh, lemonade or whatever. I mean, that's kind of a telltale sign. But the cookies, like, um, maybe that's too overdone. But the girl always has to leave. And I mean, of course, I understand why the girl has to leave. But the girl always has to, uh go like right in the initial meet and um you know the guys i they've, they've seen so much chris hansen i'm sure so all right guys i'll leave you with that um if you want me to react to anything else uh, in particular let me know i was going through some of the partial episodes but anyway i'll see you guys on the next one